a week today that we will be leaving Seattle moving out of Seattle. Clearly, we still have a lot of work to do. This whole next week, we're actually not gonna be sleeping and technically living in our apartment. We're going to stay with my friend Brenda and her fiance Ben. They also live like five minutes away from us, which is perfect because that way we can like drive from there all the way back here really quickly so we can every day just like slowly chip at packing and moving and selling and donating all the things that we have. So it's gonna be a big week, but I'm going to film everything and take you guys through the whole process of us making a big life change. Um, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna talk more in detail about like the moving things as I promised and why we're moving and where we're going and all the things. But today is a big moving day. My parents are actually on the way here. They are gonna come pick up a few furniture things. So they're picking up this chair thing right there. They're also taking our TV stand and another chair and a few other like miscellaneous items. So we still have a lot of work to do. We're kind of behind. Yoni is just taking a shower right now. We had some coffee this morning to just kind of get the day started. It's a beautiful day out. It's really hot in Seattle right now. We're going to just uh, get started because we have a lot of work to do. Okay, I'm with my sister. <laughs> uh, my parents already took all of the furniture that they were gonna take to their place. And um, I just changed because I need to film some footage for a video and I'm going to the Fremont market because it's closing, it's only on Sunday and it's closing at four. It's now 1.30, about to be two. So we don't have a lot of time. So we're headed over there. We're not gonna be like shopping or anything. I'm strictly gonna go to film for this one video. So we're headed there now. And then we also have a few other locations we're gonna stop by also to film for this video. So a uh, busy, busy day. Okay, I just got to the house. Um, the kitchen is a mess, but I need to make some breakfast. I'm really hungry and I definitely need to eat after my workout. But actually now that I think about it, I think I might strip the covers off of the couch real quick and put them in the wash because someone is coming to pick this up later today and I want to wash them so the couch looks like the best that it can because they're gonna come pick it up and I want it to look good.
Look who's here! <laughs> Consolidating. Look how organized that Yeah, I mean you can tell Brenda's here because I will not be doing the shit. <laughs> Hi everyone. We are here to get rid of all of my shit. There's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit. Honestly, I feel like you probably have the same amount of shit. No, I do, but it's just nice to see all the shit that you have that I could take home. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, let's show you let's show you the pile that Brenda is taking home over all the things that she already got. I was okay. here for only five minutes and I have all of this. Yeah, right she's now. like, oh wait, is this mine? <laughs> oh, we got a little. I was literally looking for this at Crate and Barrel, like this oh, exact where I bought it from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, she got a little scale. pink scale. It's giving Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This. Uh, that? I can't read. Ooh. Um, so how much memory is in this bitch? Oh, I can tell you right now. We have 8 hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> there, that's I'm like, I'm much more beautiful than this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're like, hey. Hey. <laughs> Wait, make a heart. <laughs> how to be distracted. Play it. Time for that good, good will run. That good, good. That good, good will. <sighs> Next update of the day, showered, and now it's time to eat. We got our favorite, a Thai steak salad which has like tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, green onions, lettuce, and steak. And then it's in this like delicious sauce. And then we get some rice and we add the rice into the sauce. And it just is like incredible. Look at you, don't eat that. Y'all don't focus, guys. <laughs> God, this camera makes him look so adorable. The sun feels so, so good. Um, I've been on the roof for a little bit. Brenda actually has an appointment, so she's not here anymore. But I am working on the roof today. It is so beautiful out. I have um, some work that I have to do with all the moving. I haven't really had a chance to uh, keep on track with certain things. So because we got a lot done the last couple days, um, today we really need to like get some work done for the podcast and for videos and things. I have a big filming day tomorrow where I'm mostly going to film out in the city for a big Seattle video. I have to like plan ahead of like the locations that I'm gonna be filming at and what I'm gonna be talking about and saying so that I can really like maximize 
my time. Um, so I'll be here for a few hours and we had brunch earlier. It was so good. We kind of slept in this morning because I was exhausted and so was Yoni. The last couple weeks have just been uh, so stressful, but especially yesterday, we were just really tired from all the moving, but we got a lot done, which I'm glad. But yeah, you know, just taking it day by day, but it ain't so bad up here. Okay, we just came to the house because we are going to pack up a bunch of the WTJ orders for the merch. So we came to the house, we're going to pick up exactly the amount of hats and shirts and all the different sizes. And we're gonna bring like our packaging and our printer and Brenda's gonna help us like put together all the orders and also try to get a little bit more content of us wearing the things. Okay. set up our line of t-shirts because we are about to pack all the orders that we have so far we have like our small medium large extra large shirts and then also some hats and we are going to get to work brenda as i said is going to help me trying to do this the best and most organized and efficient way possible if you ordered any of this summer what's the juice merch thank you so much we worked so hard on it and uh, putting together the merch launch and also shipping everything in the week that we are packing our life and leaving and living at our friend's house like it's a whole ordeal but um, I'm so thankful to have like such a great support system and for Brenda and Ben to like let us stay here because it's so helpful and it really makes me feel like I have the space to breathe a little bit more. But I'm feeling good and we're probably gonna like watch a movie, we're gonna make some dinner, we're gonna make some pasta with some salad and uh, kind of just chill for the rest of the evening once we get all this ready and done with. Set. We're about to eat good, We're about to drink good, I'm about to sleep good. Mm -hmm. It's been a few days since I've filmed anything, but we are at CarMax right now trying to get a quote on how much we can sell our car for. And I feel like it's going to feel very real that we're actually moving and leaving once the car will be sold. Um, hopefully we can get like a good amount for it, but we're also kind of desperate, so we'll take what we can get. <laughs> Just waiting. Got my nails done earlier today. Guys, I'm so tired. I uh, haven't filmed for this video in a minute because I was filming for another video, and I couldn't do I couldn't do too many things at the same time. But today's a big packing day. We I think like we're gonna aim to empty the whole apartment today. So my mom and my sister are gonna come help after they're done with work around like 3, 4 p.m. Slowly but surely, today's Thursday, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. today's Thursday. So we have three full days. Are you with your fingers? <laughs> I had to yeah, count. Please. Three full days left in Seattle before we are out of here.
We are officially out of here, guys. I haven't filmed the last uh, few days just because it's been insane, but we are cleared out. Mom doing last minute sweep. <laughs> so echoey in here. Yeah, it does remind me of the first time we toured the apartment. We did it, guys. Let's tell you, I am exhausted and I'm sweaty and I don't even have time to shower before this flight because we have to leave it now, but it is what it is. Bye, this is the last time we're gonna see this apartment. Okay, so I'm filming this from the future slash from the present. I am a little bit all over the place with finishing and filming and editing videos because I am traveling right now. I am no longer in Seattle. I'm actually in Bucharest right now. I have already traveled a little bit and been on summer holiday with my family. It's been really hard for me to keep working while also on vacation and finding that balance but still i've had so much like footage from us moving out of seattle and all the things so um this is a little bit all over the place but i just wanted to give a few final words about our move where we're going why we're leaving and just kind of you know give a last few words to my time in seattle but also the seattle diaries because that was like the longest running kind of series and it became a big part of my youtube channel and just to start i have actually lived in seattle for almost 12 years i went to school in canada if some of you guys know like my story of how i came here i of how i left bucharest and then moved with my family to the u.s so we've lived in the seattle area for about 12 years but i went to school in canada so i didn't live in Seattle myself full-time with like my entire life until about six years ago after I graduated high school and that's when I started living in Seattle full-time so I've lived in Seattle for six years and Yoni lived in Seattle for a full 12 years and we've lived together for four of those years or three of those years I can't remember but either way uh, we've had a long and good amount of time in the city we've experienced a big part of it we had a big and fruitful life there and it just kind of started feeling a little bit small for both our careers but also personally like I really need to be inspired by my environment in order to create content. I need to be, I can't like fake it and to keep it authentic, I need to be inspired and excited and looking forward to doing things and living life and all those things in order to create good and interesting content for you guys, but also content that I enjoy making. And the last couple of years, but especially the last year, has just really felt like I need a change. I wanna just be more excited about where I am, the things that surround me. And for Yoni also, you know, being a photographer, Seattle is not really the city for that industry. It doesn't feel like the right fit for us anymore. And since I already like graduated college and we just feel like it's the right time for us to make this big move. And I didn't really know exactly if I should tell you guys like where we're moving. I want to keep it a whole surprise or whatever, but I am going to tell you guys now because um, I feel like it's very annoying to be that one person that's like, oh, stay tuned for whatever. Um, and some of you guys already know if you're listening to the podcast, it should not come to any surprise that we have decided that we are moving to New York City. And um, I cannot tell you how excited we are. And just personally, like I want to be in a city where I can walk around, where I don't need a car, where there's like so much to explore and it's just much more dense and a lot more people and there's so many different industries and so many different kinds of people with different minds and experiences and the East Coast in general also has much more like European influence and that's a big thing that I missed personally like culturally in the west coast little things like that and that affect your day-to-day -day life in a way that you might not realize until you're missing them and i'm realizing how much i'm missing that aspect of where i live so new york just is the place for us and i'm super excited after this big trip to europe and visiting like all of our family instead of going back to seattle we are going directly to new york i am so excited we've been wanting to move to new york for a few years now but it always felt like not the right time because i was still in college and 
finishing college and then I had like my full-time job for a few months. Now it just feels like the right time, which honestly, when is the right time? Because even now, the way that we're doing it with like getting rid of our apartment and then traveling for a full month and then going back to New York, we're gonna travel again like a few weeks later because of some work things. And then we're gonna go back and then finding an apartment and then also traveling with like all of our clothes and things. It's been a lot, but um, honestly, I don't know what the right way to do any of this is. We just took a path and went that way. It's been a really stressful time, but at the same time, I really want to look back at this time as like, you know, telling my our kids like this whole adventure of how we did everything and moving to New York, the two of us, and just experiencing everything together is so special. So I am super, super excited. Um, I'm excited to be re-inspired. I'm excited to meet new people and to create this whole new life together with Yoni and it's gonna be really really fun and I hope that you guys are as excited as we are and I know that you know there's a lot of creators and a lot of Instagram people and influencers and etc that live in New York but that's just where I want to be for my personal life and also my creative life and who knows what's gonna happen I hope that you guys you know stick around for the content that will come and that you guys will I don't know just embrace the journey with us and I am so appreciative of all of you for just being here and for supporting me but for now I am in Europe I am enjoying my holiday I'm enjoying spending time with my family and all the grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins so so yeah, uh, I will see you guys in whatever video comes next after this because my videos are all over the place. I hope that you are enjoying your summer and having a great time wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.